ಸರಸ್ವತಿಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯಂ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭಂ ಕರಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾಶೇಬವರೋಗಿಧೇ ಸರ್ವಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಲ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸದಾಶಿವಸಾರಂಭಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾರ್ತಸ್ವಿಣ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೆ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿಧಿತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಪಾರ್ಥಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿ ಭಗವತ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿಥಾಣಮುನಿ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಮೃತವರ್ಷಿ ಭಗವತಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭವದ್ವೇಷಿಣಿ ಕರೋತಿ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತೆ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾತ್ತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಯ ಮುದೀರೇ ಶ್ರೀಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೇನಮಸ್ತ್ರೀಭಗವಾಚ ಮಯಾತತಮಿದ್ಯಕ್ತಮೂರ್ತಿ ಪಶ್ಯೇಶ್ವರ 
पश्य मे योग मैश्वर भूत भृन्न चूतस्थो ममात्मा भूत भावन भूत भृन्न चूतस्थो ममात्मा भूत भावन You have seen these two shlokas. The last verse. It. <clears throat> they will have a recap and then go to the next shloka. These two shlokas are important, complete. Fourth shloka followed by the fifth shloka. It's an important uh, shloka. Idam sarvam maya tatham. Everything idam. Idam sarvam. Idam referring to that which is objectified. That is just jagat. So maya tatham. Therefore, this jagat is myself. Sarvam khalu idam brahma. Therefore, this is Ishvara. Jagat is brahma. Jagat brahma yo. Idam sarvam. Jagat being a karya, karya cannot exist apart from karanam. So maya tatham idam sarvam, me by me, who is this me? Aham brahma para prakriti, as Bhagavan said in the seventh chapter, my prakriti of two types, vidha bhavati, para prakriti, apara prakriti. So para prakriti, the entire jagat is pervaded by me. Pervaded by me means what is this me? The existence, everything exists. Sat, and that sat is chit, not subject to any limitation. Therefore, ananta ha, the satchit ananda lakshana brahma agam brahmana idam sarvam jagat. It is pervaded. Abhyakta muti na abhyakta na abhyakta is abhyakta. If it is vyakta, then it is available for indriya gochara. Existence, say consciousness, not available for indriya gochara. In fact, they exist because of because of sat dharma. Therefore, how can be indriya gochara? That's why abhyakta murti na adrishya adrishya murti hi abhyakta murti hi swarupam yasya. Saha, tena, this jagat is avyakta surupena, indriya gocharena, avyakta surupena, it is tatam pervaded maya, if maya ishvarena, iti, then sarvam, sarvam kristam, complete, total, the entire jagat, the entire jagat, this charachara, jagat vishvam, tatam, istaritam pervaded, maya tatam, it is pervaded. So therefore, This jagat is, is pervaded by abhyakta murti, not pervaded by me. And the nature of swarupam of me is, it is imperceptible. It is abhyakta murti now. How can you perceive the existence? Therefore, abhyakta murti. That is abhyakta murti. Sat Brahma. Sat Brahma not available for objectification. If it is available for objectification, objectification, The Brahma also becomes a Vishaya. If it is a Vishaya, then we don't need Shastram for that. Because it is a Vishaya, Indriya, Gochar Vishaya, it is available for other Pramanam. Shastra has no, Shastra has no validity if it is Vishaya, Indriya, Vishaya, Gochar, for that, Pratyakshadi, Pramanani, Santi. Existence cannot be objectified. Because it, an object exists, Therefore, it is objectifiable by the sense organs. In fact, what we what we perceive is not really the object. Also, only the 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 attribute, shabda sparsha rupa rasakanda. This is what we perceive. The qualities we perceive qualities of the object, and we think of we perceive the object. The object as such cannot be perceived. What it is, we can only perceive the Attributes of the object. That is in terms of shabda sparsha rupa rasakanda. An object must have any of these five. It must be available. It must be sparsha. Sparsha means 
touch must be available for your touch. So skin, Indriya, Shabda, if it is produces sound, then Shotra Indriya. Then Rupa, available for Chakshur Indriya. Asa, taste. You can taste and identify the object. That is a property of the object. Similarly, Ganda also. It is Prithvi Guna. So, therefore, object as such cannot be perceived. Brahma is not an object. Therefore, Nirgunam. Nirgunam Brahma, that is, entire Jagat is pervaded. Entire Jagat is, Jagat is pervaded by Brahma, which is Nirgunam. And how can there be the perception of duality? That is what he, Bhagavan says here. Perception of duality is is Ajnanam. You give reality to what you perceive, therefore, it seems to be real, but it is not real. Everything is pervaded by me. As Clay says, everything is pervaded by me. All the parts are pervaded by me. You see the pot and pot is real. You see the Jagat, Jagat is real. But Jagat is, doesn't have any substantiality, doesn't have any substance, doesn't have any sara. It is Brahma Yeva. Therefore, Maya Tatam, pervaded by me. Then how do you explain this Jagat? Jagat exists, duality. Therefore, Bhagavan says here, the second line, the Satyam and Vidya. If Jagat is the Karyam and Ishvara is the Karanam, then Karya is a really Karya. Karya exists when this from the standpoint of Karanam. And ka when, when Karanatam is dismissed, there is no Karya. So that is what is conveyed by the these two lines. Last line of the first the fourth stoka and the first line. First it is said, Matstani Sarvabhutani. Achakam Teshu Avastitaha. Matstani, all the Bhutani. Sarvabhutani, Sarvani. Vyajamanani, Sarvani Bhutani, the Characharat, Charatmatani Bhutani, Matstani, Mayi, Avastitani, Mayi Sitani. Means I am the Adara. Karanam, I am the Karanam. Kari is here. Because Vina Karanam, Karyam na Bhavati. Karyam, Kari is here. Vasta, Kari is here. Vina, ka, vina Karanam, Karyam, Kuchit Karyam, Kadachit Api Avasta Tuna Arigati. Therefore, without Karnam, how can there be Karya? So I am the Karanam. So therefore, first is Karana Karya Prakriya. Like uh, like the the waves exist. Wave exists and the karanam is the water. But does the do the waves exist independently? No. Waves do not exist, do not have independent existence. Wave exists because water is there. So, Matstani Sarva Bhutani. Therefore, all things exist in me. All things exist in me. Matstani, they stay in me, they exist in me. All things exist in me, then I exist in all beings. Suppose if it is said like that, then there will be a, a paraspara, a dependency, mutual dependence. All beings exist in me and I exist in all beings. Paraspara Nyonya Samanda. Then it is a dependency. Ishwara also depends on Jagat and Jagat also depends. That is not said here. That is said, then both of them may enjoy Satyam. Jagat also becomes Satyam. Therefore, Bhagavan says here, all the beings exist in me. I do not exist. Nacha Agam I I don't exist. I am not dependent on them. They are Dependent on me. They have the beings on me. I am not basic. It means I am the Adara. I am the Adara. I am the Adishtana. I am the Karanam. Karanam Vina Karyasya. Karanam Vina Karyasya. Avastiti Hina Bhavati. Therefore, Karyam as dependency and the Karanam. Therefore, 
therefore only karana guna ka karya ano vartante whatever gunas whatever you see in the karya it is because of the karanam therefore i am independent and all the beings are dependent dependent on me so mastani sarvabhuta it is not mutual dependency it is i am the adara and they are adeya they are dependent on me therefore aham brahma satyam and what about jagat jagat is dependent on me jagat nat yacha aham tesha avasthitah iti now in the next shloka what bhagavan says mastani sarva bhutani is but also he dismisses natam mastani bhutani all beings exist in me i do not exist in me. it means aham karanam and the jagat is karya then he says the karya jagat also doesn't exist natam mastani the jagat this bhutani do not exist in me means all waves are water all waves are water waves waves exist in water therefore all waves are in water but in water there are no waves it means the water doesn't need waves for its existence similarly all the bhutas all the bhutas empirically there vyavaharika vyavaharikali vyavaharika empirically they are there but not really not that paramarthika not really therefore what is there then it is mithya therefore the jagat is satyam or mithya we cannot dismiss it from the standpoint of empiricality and it is not from the standpoint of paramarthika therefore sat asadvya manirvachaniyam that is mithya the jagat is mithya brahma satyam jagat mithya if brahma is if jagat is mithya from mithya standpoint from mithya jagat standpoint i am the adhisthan but the jagat is does it really exist from the standpoint of the empirical reality only jagat exists really doesn't exist then how can you say that beings exist in me that doesn't exist only i alone exist i paramatma advitya brahma satyam satchit ananda brahma nama rupa rakitam that alone exist therefore this jagat do not exist just seeming existence that is why we say mithya sat asad vyam anirvachaniyam dafa nacha mastani bhutani beings do not exist in me in the beginning he said sarva bhutani mastani that is to show that by the karana karya prakriya why because that prakriya is required adhyaro papavada prakriya because because our because our empirical because of our empirical experiences so we give certain reality to the jagat therefore in the beginning itself it cannot be dismissed the jagat has experience experienceable reality empirical reality so from the for the person who has the notion that the jagat exists how can we dismiss the jagat so we have to say that jagat is a karyam and brahma is a karanam and later the next step is important next te- second te- step without a second step the teaching is not complete where is the jagat the jagat do not exist jagat do not exist that is from the standpoint of the paramarthika sat sat brahma alone exists therefore what exists is brahma therefore jagat do not exist really empirically it exists and doesn't exist independently it depends on sat brahma for its existence because it doesn't exist independently and therefore and it has existence based on brahma therefore brahma is satyam jagat is mithya mithya do not exist therefore achamastani bhutani do not exist that is satyam mithya if therefore if jagat sarvabhutani 
ప్రతిమతాని డూ నాట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ శ్రీమై యోగం పశ్యమే యోగం ఐశ్వరం దఫో ద మిథ్యా జగత్ ఇస్ సస్టైన్డ్ బై మీ దఫర్ భూత భృతు నూతస్థూతస్థీన్స్ ఐ డో నాట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ డిపెండెంట్ ఆన్ దమ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ డిపెండెంట్ ఆన్ దమ్ దిస్ మిథ్యా జగత్ ఇస్ సస్టైన్డ్ బై మీ ద రియాలిటీ ఆఫ్ ది మిథ్యా జగత్ is big is 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 because of me they enjoy certain reality the empirical reality because of me without me how can it enjoy even empirical reality and that alone brahma alone exists then that empirical in spite of the empirical reality in spite of the empirical reality it is it is dismissed it means it's not real empirical reality is really not real it is unreal from the standpoint of the paramarthika drishti therefore therefore here bhagavan says that brahma is independent do bhuta vrutu acha bhuta stah amatma bhuta bhavana the srishti has to be explained therefore namatma bhuta va mama as para prakriti para prakriti brahma which is the karanam for this jagat from the standpoint of the empirical reality jagat exists for which the karanam is brahma what karanam abhinna nimitta upadana karanam so brahma is the karanam vivartha upadana jagat the karya exists for which the karanam is brahma and brahma is is the abhinna nimitta upadana karanam vivartha upadana karanam ధర్మై శివతో పాదాన కారణం మాయా ఇస్ పరిణామ పాదాల కారణం దఫ ఎనీ చేంజ్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ ది జగత్ ఎనీ చేంజ్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ టు ద వాటర్ విత్ టు ద వేవ్ విల్ ఇట్ అఫెక్ట్ ది వాటర్ ఇట్ కంటిన్యూస్ టు ది వాటర్ వన్ సిమిలర్లీ దిస్ మిథ్యా జగత్ మిథ్యా జగత్ కెన్ నాట్ కాస్ ఎనీ డెంట్ ఇన్ ది కారణం సత్ దఫ సత్ ఇస్ ఆల్వేస్ అసంగ బట్ అసంగత్వం that asangattvam of brahma that is what is said asangattvam atma is asangah asangah the fourth nature vastani empirical reality do not touch the paramarthika therefore nature vastani bhutani the empirical reality has to be explained therefore by karana karya prakriya b is a a is not b vastani sarva bhutani కారణం will it affect the karanam cannot affect the karanam because it doesn't really exist therefore brahma is always asangaha it is asanga swarupaha atma brahma iti so that i am independent independent therefore this this bhutas comes and go this bhutas comes and go bhutani jagat comes and go but i exist i don't undergo any change even even though i am the aadara <coughs> the aadara adeya only from the standpoint of the jagat in fact that sambandha also is not the real paramatika drishtya where is aadara what is adeya brahma is aadara adishtana jagat is adeya it is supported only from the srishti standpoint jagat standpoint when jagat itself does, doesn't exist then where is the adharatvam karanatvam to brahma doesn't exist that for brahma is not the present enjoyed status of being karanam also it being what it is but i have to explain the srishti he said nivartha upadana karanam brahma is the abhinna nimitta upadana karanam it is the nimitta karanam as well as upadana karanam so for without undergoing any change brahma appears as this jagat 
with the help of Maya, of course. And Maya is Maya is upadana karma. It is the changing parinama parinami upadana karma. Because we change, we see the change happening in the jagat. How to explain the change happening in the jagat? Jagat can be explained as pari, jagat can be explained as the for, for which the karma is vivarta upadana karma. Dharma without undergoing any change becomes the jagat. Therefore, jagat has a cause in Brahma and the cause doesn't really undergo a change. Therefore, river to Padana Karma. And within the jagat, changes happen. The thing changes into another thing. That is Parinami Padana Karma. Maya is the Parinami Padana Karma. So, therefore, this, this changing doesn't affect me. No, do not affect me. Therefore, Aham Asangaha. Do not undergo any change. It remains asangaha. And that is what is said in the next day, the shloka. With the drishtanta, with an illustration, Bhagavan says, from that we will read. So, <clears throat> with the drishtanta, the drishtanta is akasha and vayu. That is drishtanta. With the drishtanta, asangatvam of Brahma. Sangaragitam Brahma is pointed out. Let us read. Yatha kashastitho nityam vagyasarvatra ho mahan. Yatha kashastitho nityam vagyasarvatra ho mahan. Tatha sarvani bhutani matstani tyupadharaya. Tatha sarvani putani matstani tyupadharaya. Itha. Itha is in a prakarena. Itha. Itha akashaha. Akashaha. Itha akashas titaha. Akashas titaha. Akasha is space. In the space, the vayu, the air, the wind moves. Sarvatraha. Why is called Sarvatraha? Why Sarvatraha? Because Sarvatra Gachati. Sarvatraha Gachati. Therefore Sarvatraha. And Nityam. Nityam it is Akasha Stitaha. It is Akasha. Where does Ak Vayu, Vayu exist? Vayu exists in space. And it, it Sarvatraha. There is no place where it is not. Where it is and it is continuously moving. And it is called Mahan because of its all per, per, so because of its pervasiveness. Because of its pervasive relatively it is pervasive, relatively greater. It has got greater pervasiveness. And greater than that is Akasha, because Akasha is what accommodates Vayu also. Therefore Akasha has greater pervasiveness and Vayu also Relative, therefore, Vayu is referred to as Mahan. Mahan, all these words are descri descriptions of Vayu. Vayu is Mahan, it is Sarvatraha, it is Nityam Akashe Stitaha. Akasha Stitaha, Akashe Tishtati. Akashe Tishtati, it is Akasha Stitaha. Sarvatraha, Sarvatra Gatikaha. Sarvatraha, Sarvatra means Kutra. It is it is Urdhvam or Adaha or straight Tiryakva, any direction. Gachati iti, therefore Sarvatra. Sarvatra, all directions. It can move up, it can move down, it can move horizontally, left, right, anywhere in direction. Therefore, Vayuhu Vataha, Kutra Sitaha Akashi, Sada, Nityam, Sada, always. Akashi Stitaha. The same with Tata, first line is illustration, Drashtanta. Second and Tatha, the same way, Tena Prakare, Sarvani Bhutani, all the beings, the same way all the beings exist in me. This is to explain the Asangatva, all the beings exist in me. From the Paramatika Deshtya do not exist. Already we have seen this in the Shloka. This is from the Yavakarika. Because Brahma is a Karnam, Jagat is a Karya. So, 
since all being similarly all beings exist in me where are the beings go whatever form it may assume they are all in me alone will not bhagwan be overloaded by the beings the size and number of beings no do not count at all why like the akasha is not burdened by the vayu akasha doesn't live any foot trail in space so similarly these beings they are not really burdened for me i can accommodate any amount of beings because infinity plus zero is this is mithya so do mithya it is nama rupa nama rupa has no weightage so it is zero. infinity plus zero is infinity so i alone exist why you cannot exist without space similarly beings cannot exist without me but i am not the same time i am not over burdened by these beings so as akasha is not touched by vayu vayu alone can be polluted akasha can never be polluted space is untouched always neither by fragrance nor by dirty smell or pollution any fragrance or any smell whole smell that is only for the vayu so where the vayu vayu takes what about akasha akasha always shuddha that is the closest example and akasha also from the srishti prakaram standpoint it is the first element so it always relatively shuddha tasmad etasmad brahmanah akasha sambhutah so akasha always it is pure so akasha is quoted for its purity and also it is for asangatvam here it is asangatvam tata akasha is asangah vidraha to vayu it accommodates vayu but not touched by the fragrance or the full smell of the vayu similarly i am also not touch atma aham is not touched by anything beings any beings any number of beings not touched by the beings at the same time these beings are not away from me so for what type of sambandha it could be i am not touched by them and they are not away from me satya mithya it is satya mithya sambandha therefore jiva and jagat is brahma and they are vitya the satya is brahma the moment of vayu in the akasha so by the moment of jiva it is only in brahma the jagat is brahma so jiva is brahma jagat is brahma so in spite of this the jagat the brahma is always pure be mithya therefore any change or any anything happening to the jiva the jagat brahma will not be affected because it is asangha yata akashaha advat akashavat so therefore i remain asangha untouched so all of them so everything is brahma all of them are brahma we can say why all of them exist in brahma all of them exist in brahma and brahma is not touched that is why all of them exist in brahma it is said the next teaching is everything is brahma all of them are brahma only to make the point that brahma is asangaha bhagavan says here all of them are in brahma in fact all of them are brahma when jagat is dismissed then what is everything there is no everything in fact what is there is only brahma so everything is brahma the directly could have been said okay. but how do you say then asangaha for asangaha two things have to be there so therefore all of them the jagat the jiva jagat and brahma and jiva jagat exists in brahma brahma is not touched asangaha so sarvani bhutani therefore sarvani bhutani vachtani they exist in me without affecting me therefore aham always asangha iti upadharaya may you understand this upadharaya avadharaya very clearly samachtani mai ishvare asanga swabhave ishvare avast avastani iti upadharaya avadharaya jani hi vijani hi may you know may you understand this so therefore i remain 
ever pure asangaha so vayu sarvatra ho mahan yathat akasha sthito nityam so akasha is never contaminated by vayu it's always ever unpolluted similarly paramatma ai the paramatma remains unpolluted when all the bhutas are present in me asani sarva bhutani all bhutas are present in me then bhutas do not do not cause do not contaminate me so therefore may you understand the bhuta exist in me the jagat exist in me cannot pollute me like the akasha cannot cannot be polluted by vayu they accommodate everything but at the same time not touched by them not polluted by them so therefore asangatvam of brahma is what is the point pointed out asangatvam so satyam mithya and then asangatva because satyam mithya therefore only asangatva if karanam and karya is really real then it becomes sangatva if karana really undergoes change to become the karya then then there is that becomes sangha there is association the change in the karya now the out of the karana out of which it is made it undergoes a complete change and becomes the karya so therefore there is sangha is there sangatva so asan when there is satya mithya then only there can be asangatva ishvara is a karanam and jagat is a karya which is karya means the jagat has come from the lord then of course the lord must have undergone some change brahma must have undergone some change no without undergoing change so vivarta upadana karam asangah like the like this like the rope is untouched by snake rope is asangah with regard to snake perception so asangatvam satyam mithya jagat is mithya brahma is satyam and brahma is asangah when there is satyam mithya relation between brahma and jagat then the brahma must be asangah brahma must be asangah therefore asangatvam my swarupa is asangah not undergoing any change and it doesn't mean brahma is ever same without undergoing any change if it is asangah then there can be any amount of mithya jagat superimposed on sat brahma because brahma is asangah what can vayu do to the akasha any amount of vayu or any amount of smell or full smell fragrance smell added to vayu cannot touch akasha akasha eta remains asangah similarly okay ai paramatma also remains asangah therefore this mithya jagat cannot pollute me cannot touch me that is why bhagavan said chamatsani bhutani also then this stuff of asangatvam is pointed out now the next shloka so having presented the satya satya mithya relationship between the brahma and jagat and asangatvam of brahma then the karya jagat when jagat when it is explained that is the creation now creation means srishti so something is created and the creator doesn't stay because it is it does it doesn't have independent existence therefore the creator has to undergo resolution so from the standpoint of the jagat the jagat which has come to existence it is sustained for a period of time certain period of time and then resolves and for which the karanam is brahma therefore since all beings exist in me from me all these beings are projected therefore srishti i am the srishti karanam and lay karnam also all beings finally resolves into me so brahma is the cause of sthiti sthit srishti sthiti and laya so that is pointed out in the next shloka when brahma is asangaha then srishti sthiti and laya all these are all these cannot affect the satyam brahma do not affect me 
అపరా ప్రకృతి సో ది సృష్టి కారణం ఇస్ అపరా ప్రకృతి పరా ప్రకృతి అపరా ప్రకృతి సో పరా ప్రకృతి ఇస్ పరా ప్రకృతి ఇస్ మాయా సో మాయా సగీత బ్రహ్మ సగుణం బ్రహ్మ ఇస్ అ కాస్ ఫార్ దిస్ జగత్ సో బ్రహ్మ వ్యక్తి మాయా ఉపాధి ఇస్ అ కాస్ ఫార్ జగత్ అండ్ స్థితి అండ్ లయ సో దట్ ఈస్ సెల్ ఇన్ ది నెక్స్ట్ కౌంతేయ ప్రకృతి యాంతి మాకాయే పునస్తాని కల్పాదో విసృజామ్యహం సృష్టి హస్ టు బి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దర్ ఫోర్ ఫర్ సృష్టి ద కారణం ఇస్ బ్రహ్మ బ్రహ్మ ఇస్ కారణం అండ్ దర్ ఇస్ కార్య కారణ సంబంధ బ్రహ్మ హస్ ది కారణం అండ్ జగత్ ఇస్ ది కార్యం అండ్ జగత్ ఇస్ క్రియేటర్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్ సృష్టి సో ఆల్ బీయింగ్స్ సర్వభూతాని ఏకవంతేయ all beings all beings means both jada and chetana all beings ye kaun the ya prakritim yanti mai prakritim mama prakriti bhagwan said doesn't say they come to doesn't say to me he, just, he says to mai prakriti mai prakriti apara prakriti that is why it comes back again మామికాం ప్రకృతి మామికాం మీన్స్ మమ తదిత వర్డ్ మమ ప్రకృతి ఏకౌంతేయ ఏ కృతిపుత్ర కల్పక్షయే అట్ ది ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ఫస్ట్ ఈస్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ది లయ ప్రళయ కల్పక్షయ కల్పాంతి ప్రళయకాలు సర్వభూతాని చరాచరాత్మకాని భూతాని బ్రహ్మాది స్తంభ పర్యంతాని ఇంక్లూడింగ్ బ్రహ్మాజీ ఆల్సో నెనె గర్భ మామికా మదీయాం ప్రకృతి this is this jagat karana bhutam prakriti maya to prakriti midya mayinam to mageshwara that is ishvara so therefore this mai kaam prakriti mama prakriti yanti mami kaam yanti pryanti prapnavanti pryanti so all the beings so all the beings at the end of the kalpa means kalpa the cycle comes to the end that is pralaya maha pralaya it is maha pralaya so all the beings they go to a state of dissolution where in my prakriti in my prakriti then kalpa ado in the beginning of the kalpa punaha again tani sarvani bhutani isra jami i release them i please me i project them i create them i think keeping with the, the karma of the jiva so according to the jagat is created therefore the jagat jagat for the jagat it revolves in what in my upadhi means my upadhi mama prakriti means i am not the prakriti so i am not the prakriti in my upadhi the jagat comes and goes bhagavan is all is asangaha is not touched asangaha so these beings come and go so therefore therefore it is i am not a prakriti it is mama prakriti or when bhagwan says all beings have their existence in me it means all beings have their existence in me means they are not the intrinsic nature of atma it is free from It is free from all attributes. Nirvishesha. Matsthani. Matsthani is a... Matsthani. Mai. Matsthani is a status. Which is because of this Maya. Maya factor. Matsthani. Mama Prakriti. Maya. And Maya doesn't create a duality. No. It cannot create. Because Maya is... One is from the standpoint of the Jagat. That is why they say... So, Vivekananda is... says maya you cannot question maya being in, within maya 
outside maya when once you are released from maya you cannot question maya you cannot ask you cannot talk about maya where is maya so therefore only when you look at brahma from the standpoint of the creation therefore maya every yama sa maya maya does it really exist Maya. From the standpoint of the creation, when Brahma is looked upon, from the standpoint of creation, Maya is there. From the standpoint of Brahma, where is Maya? That is, within Maya, you cannot get, you cannot get answer for Maya. You cannot understand what Maya is. Outside Maya, from the standpoint of Brahma, there is no Maya. Maya is Mithya. Maya do, do not have a separate existence dependent on Maya. Therefore, Mithya Adishta, it is Mithya. So, therefore, they all they go to Maya, this Prakriti, this Bhutanis. They go to Mama Maya. Mama Maya is Mama Prakriti and Mithya Prakriti. This Mithya Prakriti Maya alone becomes the Nimitta Padana Karnam. Therefore, Brahma doesn't undergo in, any change without undergoing any change. Without undergoing any change, this jagat, because of Maya, it is comes to existence. The jivas are born kalpado, kalpakshaye, yanti, mama prakriti, yanti, mama prakriti, Maya, yanti. We go to Maya. So, therefore, what is the samanda between Brahma and prakriti or Maya? Satya mitya. Adhishtana adhyas. Adhishtana a. Adhyastha, Adhar Adeya Samanda. That Adeya is not real. That is why Nachamastani Bhutani Bhagavan said. So that is Mithya, Satya Mithya Samanda. So Mama Prakriti, Mama Prakriti, when Bhagavan says, the Bhagavan says Mama Prakriti, not in me. Because Nachamastani Bhutani says, from the standpoint of Srishti Mani, Mama Prakriti. Really? Not that's why Nachamastani Bhutani in the Shloka, Pratish Shloka beginning, he said. So, therefore, Brahma as the Karnam, what Karnam? Vivartha Upadana Karnam. So, all the beings they come to me, Mama Prakriti come to my Prakriti. And from at the end of the cycle, at the beginning of the cycle, from my Prakriti, from my Prakriti, they, they all. Mr. Jami, I am blessed by them, they come to existence. Kalpakshaye, Mamikam, Prakritim, Mayam, Yanti, Sarvabhutan. Kalpado, Munahatani, Aham, Mr. Jami. Mr. Jami means not Bhagavan is a Karta. Bhagavan is Asangaha. Aham, Ishwara, Asangaha, Mr. Jami. I bless them. That means, that's the order. I bless them and they get what in keeping with the karma. They get appropriate janma. Appropriate it. Janma in the jagat. They are born. Okay. Then, then Bhagavan points out the next shloka that he is the he is the maker. He is efficient cause. Just maya. A, a karyam has two causes. Upadana karnam, nimitta karnam. Upadana karnam is mama prakriti. Then I am the nimitta karnam, efficient cause. He is efficient cause through the maya. Because the cause, the causal state is only from the karya state, karya standpoint. So therefore, maya is there, therefore jagat is there. And Bhagavan is the efficient cause through this Maya that is said in the next shloka. Let us read shloka number eight. So to Satya Mitya, the Srishti is explained. Therefore, we can know the substantiality of this Jagat. We are not dismissing the Jagat. The Jagat has got empirical reality. So it is the empirical standpoint, just reality. Therefore, that much. That much importance it is given and it, it the transactions are transactions happen. From the karmatika standpoint, it is not. That is the teaching. Satya mitya. Now the Jagat is Jagat Karnam. I am I, I me as the 
nimitta karanam through maya for this jagat is explained here let us read prakrtim svabavashthabhya srijami punah punah प्रकृति माया तो प्रकृति विद्या मायन तो महेश्वर सो माया प्रकृति स्वाम अवष्टव्य माया स्वीया माया स्वाम स्वाम मीन्स वन स्वोन तो मम प्रकृति माया प्रकृति मम माया इन भगवान सर इन अदर प्रकृति मम माया दुरत्या इट इन फैक्ट इज गोइंग टू कम इन दिस चैप्टर ओनली सो स्वाम प्रकृति मीन्स प्रकृति इज माया माया स्वाम इज स्वीया सो मम प्रकृति माया मम माया अवष्टव्य आश्रित्य अवष्टव्य आश्रित्य अधिष्ठाय इत्यर्थः अवष्टव्य सो अगम स्वाम प्रकृति में अवस्थाभ्य अधिष्ठाय। So after the dissolution, कल्पादो, all the बोधानि मामा प्रकृति में यांति, then पुनः अगम कल कल्पक्षे यांति कल्पादो अगम इस जामी। Again create, for creation do I undergo any change? No, I do not undergo any change. Keeping my prakriti, swam prakriti, mavastabhya, adhishtay. So, prakriti is in my hands. Maya is in my hands. Bhagavan is not under the control of Maya. Because Maya is nitya. Maya to prakriti nitya. Maya name is Mageshwaram. So, Maya is as upadhi in the hands of the Lord. But what about Jiva? Jiva is under the spell of avidya. That is Jiva's Lord. Now, the entire... Jagat, the group of Bhutas, the Jagat, is creator, keeping my prakriti now in my hands. Bhagavan says, so the prakriti ke vashad, prakriti m swam vashtabhya misrajami, punaf punaha ham misrajami. Again and again, I create. So therefore, the poor jiva may ask this question: Why, why does Bhagwan create and puts me in problem? So it is uh, samsara, the samsara problem. Why do you, why do you, why does, why does Bhagwan, why does Bhagwan do it? Why does Bhagwan do it? He could have, could not have, could not have, uh, could have not created jagat so that there wouldn't be any problem. But it is something which has to happen. Avasham. It is something necessary that has to happen. Bhagavan says, it is not out of my will, without any will. It happens because Bhagavan did not really create anything. Only when Bhagavan creates, then he can say, I am the creator. He says, Bhagavan says, he did not create anything. Because the creation is something which is assumed. So, only when there is creation, can there be created. The creation, assuming that there is a creation, then only we can say that. It, it, then only it, 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 you can say that something which uh, came about with, without any will on the part of the Lord. Then how did it came? Prakriti ke vasha. Because of the force of Prakriti. Because of the force of Prakriti alone, this creation takes place. So Bhagavan will say in the next line, he says, I am not, I did not create anything. I did not create anything, but creation is there. That creation comes about without any my will. Assuming that that's the creation, the creation comes to existence without my will. Then how did it come? Prakriti ke vasha. Because of the force of prakriti. Not me. Because of the force of prakriti alone. Because of the nature of prakriti. Nature of prakriti is to create. Therefore, because of the force of prakriti, creation comes to existence. 
શોધ બટ આજ્ઞાની ટેક્સ પર આજ્ઞાની ભગવાન has created him and puts him in samsara the prakriti is nothing but the karma of all the jeevas they form the prakriti and all the karmas are not exhausted in only in just one janma so karmas are karmas will be waiting all sanjitas are there since jeevas goes to manifest our star goes comes to my prakriti as bhagwan says at the end of pralaya and all karmas are there not exhausted So that becomes the Karanam for the next Srishti. So in the presence of me, in the presence of me, the Prakriti, the Prakriti that is, in the, the, in the presence of Prakriti, in the presence of me, there is a, yeah, there is a desire, Sankalpa. The Sankalpa is because of the G, karma of the Jiva. Not that Bhagavan just wishes and creates Jiva and then rules over them. It is the karma of the jiva so it is karma of the jiva therefore there is sankalpa on the part of the ishvara so kama yata bhagusyam praja yegeti so is therefore so kama saka kama yata saka kaha ishvara ishvara kama yata desire how can ishvara desire desire means he must have a will desire is that is only from the standpoint of prakriti prakriti is nothing but it is the punya papa of the jivas So therefore, therefore, the jiva jiva has given karma as to jiva has to exhaust the karma. Therefore, it has to take jama. Therefore, Bhagwan as though he visualizes, as though he desires, as though he desires, and therefore, in order to help the jiva to exhaust his creation, the sishti is created. So therefore, prakritim swam avastabhya through through prakriti. This is what I mean. Prakriti ke vashat. Prakriti is tris trigunatmika prakriti maya prakriti. So I create the the beings which are helpless because of their prakriti. And this is punaf punaha means it is a cyclic process. It doesn't have beginning. That's the anadi. Jiva is anadi, and the Srishti is also anadi because it is a cycle. The cycle where is the beginning point? There is no beginning, there is no ending. Therefore, Swam Prakriti Mavastabhya Mr. Jami Bhuta Gramam Bhuta Grama is Grama is Samuha, this multitude of beings, living beings presiding over my Prakriti by blessing, blessed by me, my Prakriti that is, I have Mastery, I have control over this prakriti. Blessed by me, this all these beings are helplessly, helplessly they come to, they they come to birth. They, they are created because they have the papa punya. Therefore, it requires the srishti. Therefore, for them, the srishti, the jagat is created. Therefore, it is a cycle. Help, help. कल्प कल्पाक्षये यांति कल्पादो विसर्जन सो इट गोस ऑन एंड ऑन सो इट्स अ साइक्लिक प्रोसेस तो दिदाफर बूता ग्रामं बूता ग्रामे दुद्ध बूता समुदायम पुनः पुनः हाँ मुगुर 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 विसर्जामी जिस अतिस जामी एंड दिदाफर प्रकृति के वशात प्रकृति के वशात मींस वशा ऑफ़ दी प्रकृति प्रकृति के वशात These beings are under the vasha of the prakriti, asatant as as swatantram. It is doesn't have swatantra because of their own karma. Karma is there, therefore jiva is our srishtam. Jiva is bhuta ni is our. So therefore, these entire beings, the, the multitude of jivas, they come to existence, for which the karma is prakriti, mama prakriti. Therefore, mama prakriti. Keeping my prakriti under under my control, again, again. So the fourth Bhagwan says again, again. I create this entire this Bhuta Grama by the force of prakriti. It means that Bhagwan is nimitta karana. He is nimitta karana through Maya. So Bhag Brahma becomes nimitta karana through Maya. 
and Maya is the Upadana Karnam. So Parinami Padana Karnam, Brahma is an Imita Karnam, and also it is the Vivartha Padana. Without undergoing change, the Jagat through Maya, the Jagat is created. Therefore, Vivartha Padana Karnam Chair. So therefore, here, Nimitta Karnatvam of Brahma is, Ishwara is pointed. Nimitta Karnam means we say, Brahma alone cannot do. Therefore, Maya is required. Is Maya more powerful than the Lord? No. Therefore, that's why Prakutim Swam Avashtabhya. Agam Mr. Jami. So, Brahma requires Maya. Ishwara. That's why Ishwara. Ishwara is Maya Vupagita Chaitanya. That's why we say Ishwara. Ishwara creates. Creates this Srishti. Bhuta Gramam. Bhuta Gramam. Krishnam. Prakutyeke Vashat. They are under the they are under the force of control of Prakriti. They are therefore asat, Aswatantraha. Jivaha Aswatantraha. They are not dependent. What about Ishvara? Ishvara is Swam Prakriti Navashtabhya. Therefore, yes, he is not influenced by Prakriti. It's not in, Ishvara's Prakriti is Maya. And Jiva Prakriti is Ajnanam. That is why Jiva is under the influence of Ajnanam. Whereas Paramatma Ishvara is Maya vi. Maya is under his vasha. So keeping my Maya under his control, under my control, I create this Jagat. Therefore, Ishvara is the Brahma is the Nimitta Karanam. Efficient cause. He's a maker. All these are from the standpoint of this Srishta Jagat. The Srishta Jagat, which is Vitya Jagat, for which the, the maker is. Brahman. Then the next shloka. So now having created, then, then what happens? This Jagat. The Jagat is created. I am the Nimitta Karna. I am the efficient cause. So therefore, if I am the Nimitta Karnam, then Bhagavan, Bhagavan is Karta. Because he creates Kartratvam. If Bhagavan is Karta, then he cannot be a, he, he cannot, he, 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 he cannot but be a samsari. Is Bhagavan samsari? If Bhagavan is samsari, then there is no moksha from samsara. So therefore, Akartratvam is pointed out. Bhagavan highlights the Akartratvam. Let us read. Kachamam tani karmani. Nachamantani Karmani Nibadranti what karmani? Bhagavan is a creator. Creatorship is there for the Lord. Because he said, Agam Mr. Jami, Uttama Purusha Ekavach, Mr. Jami, I create. Prakatim Swam, Mama Prakatim Avashtabhya. So I create. This great means Bhagavan is a karta. Sashti karta, that way we say Sashti karta, Sashti karta, Laya karta. Because he does the action of creation, sustenance and dissolution. That is a karma, Tani karmani. Dharanjaya, that do not bind me. Like you do and you are bound. As Jiva, you do karma and you are bound. Like that, I am not bound. Namam karmani nibadranti. Na badna badranti. Badnati badnita badranti. Why? Because because aham asattam sangaragitaha. Neither I have the doership and therefore Enjoy your ship. I am neither the karta nor the bhokta. Asaktam, that is asangaha, asangatva, asangaha, udasinaha. Udasinaha is indifferent, neutral. In my presence, everything is happens. So with regard to Tesh karma, so with regard to karma, those activities, aham udasinaha, udasinavat asinam, like a person, udasina. 
who is who is in, sitting indifferently similarly i also sit indifferently unattached detached therefore they do not mind me mind me how can they mind me in my presence everything happens but i don't it means bhagwan doesn't do kartrutvam so therefore udasinaha udasinavat asak udasinavat asinam asaktam therefore karma do not mind me therefore asaktam kartrutvam abhoktrutvam phala therefore karma sangharagitah not bound by karma bhagwan doesn't have abhimana over this or oh, this activities therefore kurvanna api na karoti yes we saw before srishti even to srishti for srishti bhagwan is the efficient cause through maya but still he is not bound by karma like unlike uh, jiva jiva is born because of his karma jiva is kartrutvam therefore karma therefore karma phala so therefore samsara what about ishvara tani karmani what is ishvar karma ishvar karma is the srishti siddhi laya that is karma that do not bind only when it is there it, it, it can bind where is it only when it, it is there from the empirical standpoint from the paramatical standpoint where it is from the empirical standpoint if it is mithya then kartatvam is also mithya mithya kartatvam how can it bind is satya brahma satya atma kartatvam is kartatvam is bhavita kartatvam is mithya because as jagat is is mithya mithya jagat tapa mithya kartatvam jagat is jagat as mithya jagat is mithya therefore srishti is mithya sthiti is mithya like everything is mithya so therefore where is the karma how can you attribute real that kartratvam to ishvara when mithya when jagat is mithya from the western point also ishvara is is akarta eva from the empirical standpoint also is akarta from this standpoint there is no empirical jagat therefore is remains untouched asangaha in spite of jagat is asangaha from his own standpoint is asangaha in spite of jagat is asangaha therefore jagat is mithya because jagat is mithya therefore asangaha eva asangatvam of bhagwan is is not even a bit shaken by this mithya jagat though i create i am not bound though i create though i sustain i dissolve the i i bhagwan says but that i is badita i sublated i therefore udasinavata asinam in the presence of me everything happens i remain asangaha with regard to the karma to teshu karma su and that bhagwan in next shloka explains all these happens in the presence of me blessed may me all these things happen maya adyak maya adyakshena by presided over by me by the blessings of me all these things happen okay we will see we will see that in the next class yam brahma varunendra ruddha marutah stambanti divyai stavai vedai sanga padakramo panishadai gayanti yam samaka ध्यानावस्थित तद्गते न मनसा पश्यन्ति यम योगिनः यस्यान्तं न विदुस्सुरासुरगणाः देवाय तस्मै नमः ओम पूर्णमदः पूर्णमितं पूर्णात् पूर्णमदच्छते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमाथाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओशाशाशाभ्यो धन्यवाद गुरुजी धन्यवाद शरण जी